Hi friends, I am Arun Giri. You are most welcome to our channel Technical Concept. Our today's topic is how to calculate airline size. So in this video, we are going to uh, see the airline size calculation. Okay. So keep watching this video up to last. And if you have not subscribed my channel till now, then please subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon. So let's start our topic without wasting time. So the given data, the data required that, uh, for airline size calculation are given uh, given here first of all we need the com size of that is capacity of air compressor that that we are uh, that we have already provided in cfm we have to convert this uh, convert this cfm into meter cube per minute so for the conversion of this cfm into meter cube per minute we have to simply divide this cfm by 35.33 okay so after conversion we are getting this value in 5 uh, value in meter cube per minute here our converted value is 5.66 the next parameter we require is working pressure of air compressor here we have 7 kg per square centimeter okay the next parameter is air velocity so here we have taken 6 meter per second okay line size that we have to calculate so according to the gas loss we have p1 v1 upon t1 is equal to p2 v2 uh, divided by t2 so here p1 v1 is nothing but initial pressure pressure before compression and v1 is nothing but uh, volume before compression and temperature is nothing but temperature uh, t1 is nothing but temperature before compression and p2 is uh, pressure after compression volume after compression and t2 is nothing but temperature after compression so here t1 and t2 we have considered constant that is temperature of air before compression and after compression we have considered as constant so after this we our new equation is p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 okay so your p1 is initial pressure and initial volume and p2 v2 are initial uh, uh, pressure and volume after compression okay so now we'll see formula and calculation so formula for the uh, calculation of line size is our flow formula is flow is, is equal to area of pipe into velocity yet area of pipe is nothing but cross section area of a pipe this is our pipe and this is the cross section area so this area okay so area of pipe is nothing but pi by 4 d square this is the formula for calculation of area of, uh, pipe that is cross section area of pipe okay and this is our, our gas law equation so we'll put all these values in this equation here p1 and b1 initial pressure and initial volume we have and uh, final volume after compression we have we have to calculate v2 so we we will put all these values in this uh, equation and after calculation we are getting 0 0.819 meter cube per minute or uh, v2 okay so this is meter cube per minute we have we want this value in meter cube per second so simply we have to divide this by 60 uh, 60 not multiply we are dividing this by 60 so after division we are getting this value 0 0.01365 meter cube per second okay now we'll uh, put all these values in this formula flow is equal to area of pipe into velocity so our calculated flow is this this is our uh, formula for cross-section area and this is velocity so after simplification of this equation we are getting d as a 0 0.0538 meter okay so this is in meter for conversion of this meter into mm simply we have to uh, multiply by thousand so after multiply by thousand we are getting 53.8 mm line size okay this is the diameter of the pipe so approximately two inch pipe we required for the getting required flow okay so this is uh, all about the today's video i hope you like the video you understood understood the calculation of line size calculation okay if you have any query then please comment in the comment box and also comment on which topic you need video okay so this is uh, all, out, all about the today's topic. So thanks for watching.
बाय बाय